بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ٹو ڈی دا ٹاپک آف مائی ڈسکشن از دا فرسٹ ٹین ڈیز آف ذوالحجہ امنگ دا گریٹ سیزنس آف ورشپ آر دا فرسٹ ٹین ڈیز آف ذوالحجہ وچ اللہ ہیز فیورڈ اوور ادا ڈیز اٹ واز نریٹیڈ فرام ابن عباس می اللہ بی پریز ود ہیم دیٹ دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ There are no days on which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these ten days. They said, Not even jihad for the sake of Allah. He said, Not even jihad for the sake of Allah. Unless a man goes out himself for jihad, taking his wealth with him and does not come back with anything. Reported by Bukhari Even for those not performing the Hajj, the first 10 days of this month are considered very sacred and a time for increased affection, seeking Allah's forgiveness, doing good, and various other forms of worship. So, sacred are the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah that Allah swears and oaths by them when He says in the Quran, By the dawn, by the 10 nights. It's in Surah Al-Fajr 89, 1-2 ayah. Swearing an oath by something indicates his importance and great benefit. So a Muslim should start these days with sincere repentance to Allah. Then he should do a lot of righteous deeds in general and he should pay attention to doing the following deeds. The foremost thing is fasting. It is recommended for the Muslim to fast on the first nine days of Zul Hijjah because the Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to do so. And fasting is one of the best of deeds, as mentioned in the Hadith Qudsi. Allah says, All the deeds of the son of Adam are for him except fasting, which is for me and I shall reward for it. Reported by Bukhari. Then, reciting Tahleel, Takbir and Tahmeed are a great deal. As mentioned, it is from the Sunnah to recite Tahleel, that is, saying La ilaha illallah. There is none worthy of worship but Allah. Takbir, saying Allahu Akbar, Allah is most great. Tahmeed, saying Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. And Tasbih, saying Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. During the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah, we should say these words out loud in the mosques, homes, streets and every place in which it is permissible to remember Allah. Allah says in Surah Al-Hajj that they may witness things that are of benefit to them, that is, reward of Hajj, and mention the name of Allah on important days. It's in Surah 22, Ayat number 28. The majority of scholars are of the view that the appointed days are the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah, Because it was narrated from Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, that the appointed days are the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. The way of doing takbir in these days are as follows. This takbir has become a forsaken sunnah nowadays. Especially at the beginning of these 10 days, you can hardly hear it except from a few. It should be recited out loud so as to revive the sunnah and remind the heedless. It was proven that Ibn Umar and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with them both, used to go out to the marketplace during the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah, reciting the takbir out loud and the people would recite takbir when they heard them, that is, the people would remember the takbir and each one would recite it by himself. This does not mean that they recited in unison, that is not prescribed in Islam. Reviving sunnahs that have been forgotten brings a great deal of reward, as it is indicated by the words of the Prophet ﷺ, Whoever revives one of my sunnahs that has died out after I am gone will have a reward like that of everyone who does it, without that detracting from the reward in the slightest. Reported by Tirmizi. Subhanallah. Then, doing Hajj and Umrah. One of the greatest deeds that can be done during these 10 days is Hajj to the sacred house of Allah. 
whoever Allah helps to go on Hajj to his house and do the rituals in the required manner will inshallah be included in the words of the Messenger of Allah. An accepted Hajj brings no less of a reward than paradise, reported by Bukhari. Then, sacrifice. One of the righteous deeds that bring a person closer to Allah in these ten days is to slaughter the sacrifice and to look for a good, fat animal and to spend money on it for the sake of Allah. Remember that if you intend to slaughter, then you should not clip your nails or cut your hair during the first ten days, so hurry up and do so before Maghrib. One of the reasons for such is that we are resembling the people in Hajj by sacrificing an animal, so we are allowed to share one of their conditions of not being allowed to cut their hair or nails. Number 5. Read more Quran. Number 6. Pray all the Sunnah prayers. Number 7. Pray the night prayers. Number 8. Give charity. Number 9. Spread knowledge. Number 10. Repent to Allah and seek forgiveness from previous sins. Number 11. Increase in asking for forgiveness by saying Astaghfirullah. Number 12. Fast with your body too. That is, don't look at haram, don't speak haram, don't listen to haram. Number 13. Make dua for the Muslims worldwide. Let us hasten to make the most of these great days before the time is too late. Jazakallah khair.